So what I'm asking Congress to do is to give us a third option, which we have been requesting since last year, the legal authority to detain and promptly remove families together as a unit. We have to be able to do this. This is the only solution to the border crisis. We have to stop child smuggling. This is the way to do it. And ultimately, we have to have a real border, not judges. Thousands and thousands of judges they want to hire. Who are these people? When we vet a single federal judge, it goes through a big process. Everybody that's ever met her or him, they come, they complain, they don't complain, they say he's brilliant, she's brilliant, he's not smart enough to be a judge. Now we're hiring thousands and thousands. What country does this? <laughs> Judges. <laughs> I won't say it. I refuse to say it. I hope they picked that up back there. They won't. <laughs> now, what, seriously, what country does it? They said, sir, we'd like to hire about five or 6,000 more judges. Five or 6,000? Now, can you imagine the graft that must take place? You're all small business owners. So I know you can't imagine a thing like that would happen. But here's a guy. They say, could you please be a judge? Come on, get it. They, they line up to be a judge. It's horrible. We don't want judges. We want security on the border. We don't want people coming in. We want them to come in through a legal process like everybody else that's waiting to come in to our country. And it got so crazy that all of these thousands, we now have thousands of judges, border judges, thousands and thousands. And by the way, when we release the people, they never come back to the judge anyway. They're gone. They're in your system. That's it. If they're good, that's great. And if they're bad, you'll have killings, you'll have murders, you'll have this, you'll have that, you'll have crime. You'll have crime. And remember, these countries that we give tremendous foreign aid to in many cases, they send these people up, and they're not sending their finest. Does that sound familiar? Remember I made that speech and I was badly criticized? Oh, what's so terrible what he said. Turned out I was 100% right. That's why I got elected. <laughs> we want a great country. We want a country with heart. But when people come up, they have to know they can't get in. Otherwise, it's never going to stop. Whether it was President Bush, President Obama, President Clinton, same policies. They can't get them changed because both sides are always fighting. This is maybe a great chance to have it changed. But one of them says, we want to hire 5,000 more judges. I don't want judges. I want border security. I don't want to try people. I don't want people coming in. Do you know if a person comes in and puts one foot on our ground, it's essentially welcome to America, welcome to our country. You never get them out because they take their name, they bring the name down, they file it, then they let the person go. They say, show back up to court in one year from now. One year. But here's the thing. That in itself is ridiculous. It, like 3% come back. The other thing they have is they have professional lawyers. Some are for good, others are do-gooders, and others are bad people. And they tell these people exactly what to say. They say, say the following. They write it down. I am being harmed in my country. My country is extremely dangerous. I fear for my life. Say that. Congratulations. You'll never be removed. This is given to them by lawyers who are waiting for them to come up. And they're not all bad people. They're impractical people. But in a way, that's cheating because they're giving them statements. They're not coming up for that reason. They're coming up for many other reasons, and sometimes for that reason. There's been a 1,700% increase in asylum claims over the last 10 years. Think of that. Think of that. We're a great country, but you can't do that. Smugglers know how the system works. They game the system. They game it. 
It's so easy for them. They're smart. They didn't go to the Wharton School of Finance. <laughs> they did. But you know what? They're really smart. The United States has just surpassed Germany as having the most asylum seekers of any nation on Earth. Can you imagine that? Can you imagine? And Germany, we talk about Germany. They allowed millions of people in. And by the way, their crime, from the time they started, is up more than 10 percent. And that's one of the reasons it's at that level, is because they don't like reporting that kind of crime. So they put it down as different kind of crime. But their crime is up more than 10 percent since they started taking them in. I heard somebody said that crooked Hillary Clinton was questioning that statistic. She said, it's not true. It's not true. Didn't she already have her chance? I mean, I, I <laughs> I'll tell you what, when you read the IG report with these really dishonest people, and I was never a deep state guy. Let me tell you, we got some bad people that are doing bad things. But when you read that IG report about how she got away with what she got away with, it's a disgrace. It's a total disgrace. And you ought to see the hearings that are right now on television, but that folks are being, you know, they're going on to the mainstream fake news media. They want to focus on immigration because they want to keep the cameras away from the hearings. Because those hearings are not good for them. In fact, they're a disaster for them. The whole thing is a scam. It's a scam. And what's happened is a disgrace. So we have a House that's getting ready to finalize an immigration package that they're going to brief me on later and that I'm going to make changes to. We have one chance to get it right. We might as well get it right, or let's just keep it going. But let's do it right. We have a chance. We want to solve this problem. We want to solve family separation. I don't want children taken away from parents. And when you prosecute the parents for coming in illegally, which should happen, you have to take the children away. Now, we don't have to prosecute them, but then we're not prosecuting them for coming in illegally. That's not good. We want to end the border crisis by finally giving us the legal authorities and the resources to detain and remove illegal immigrant families all together and bring them back to their country. We have to bring them back to their country. Now, think of all that aid that we give some of these countries. Hundreds of millions of dollars we give to some of these countries, and they send them up. Well, I'm going to go, very shortly, for authorization that when countries abuse us by sending their people up, not their best, we're not going to give any more aid to those countries. Why the hell should we? Why should we? So this is a responsible, common-sense approach that all lawmakers should embrace, Democrats and Republicans. And remember, we need the Democrats. People say, oh, you have the majority. Well, in the Senate, we have one, but you need 60. So we'll be at — if we get 100 percent, we'll be at 51. 100 percent will be at 51. So we need nine votes. We need 10, 12, 13 votes. We have to have Democrat support because we need to go not just a majority, unfortunately, which we could get. We need to go to 60, 60 out of 100. We need Democrat support. They don't want to give it because Democrats love open borders. Let the whole world come in. Let the whole world, MS-13 gang members from all over the place, come on in. We have open borders. And they view that possibly intelligently, except that it's destroying our country. They view that as potential voters. Someday, they're going to vote for Democrats. Because they can't win on their policies, which are horrible. They found that out in the last presidential election. <laughs> Thank you.
In fact, their only policy was that Donald Trump is a bad guy, he's a bad person, vote against Trump. And they said it so many, there's hundreds of millions of dollars of negative ads. Nobody's ever been hit like that. I used to go home, I started disliking myself. It's true. I said, man, am I that bad? The problem is, they never told anybody what they're doing. They didn't talk about tax cuts, by the way. They want to take away your tax cuts, and they want to substantially increase your taxes. They didn't talk about crime. All they talked about was Trump. So when people got to the booth, they said, ah, oh, we're going to vote Democrat. We're going to vote Democrat. But then they get up, they said, but what does she stand for? What do they stand for? They just say Trump. No, I'm going with Trump. And that's what happened. We got tremendous Democrat support. It's a beautiful thing. That was a beautiful night. Do you agree? That was a beautiful night. That was some night. That was some night. But you have to stand for something. And you have to stand for safety and security of our country. We can't let people pour in. They've got to go through the process. And maybe it's politically correct, or maybe it's not. We got to stop separation of the families. But politically correct or not, we have a country that needs security, that needs safety, that has to be protected.